Good morning, folks. We've got solar activity of note, including reasons to think the earthquake increase is not going to stop. Amazing weather and news articles, too, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. We had a bit of motion at the limbs, but all in all, the lack of sunspots puts the dark coronal holes in focus. Earth has begun connecting to that northern opening, and we've got a CME that will miss Earth but is set to couple having come off the southern Earth-facing polar crown. Coming next to the solar wind at Earth, we see the rise in plasma speed throughout most of the last day, but if you recall, we've discussed the weakness of that coronal hole and the stream didn't even crack 500 kilometers per second. Geomagnetism is quiet. Now the next coronal hole on the north, to which Earth is already connecting, does have some stronger power to it. Its solar wind won't arrive until early next week, but we did focus on this opening for a rise in seismic activity. A blot echo 200 kilometers beneath New Zealand set focus back to that region, and only about three hours later, largest of the day, 6.2, struck just north of the North Island. And speaking of strikes, a tornado in Germany tore through the countryside, causing major damage. This motorist and the guy in front of him were very, very lucky. It dropped out of a very thin system that packed much more punch than it did size, Luckily, the current reports are for no deaths and only two injuries. If we manage to make it out of this next system with the same low level of injuries, it'll be close to a miracle. The storm energy is over the eastern tropics right now, and the first cyclone of the North Indian Ocean season has formed. This one is tracking right at Djibouti and should drive southward just before landfall. Eyes open there, folks. The landscape, infrastructure, and personal experience of the locals does not leave them prepared for this. A couple news articles here. First, we've got Hubble's best UV release of the cosmos. Terrific shots included in the most robust UV catalog in existence. Colors representing different atomic returns shining at different levels of energy within the spectrum. And kicking that spectrum up to gamma rays, the terrestrial lightning production of gammas has been studied better than ever. The Earth flare, but instead of focusing on the upwards blast, here they're looking at the downward blast of gamma rays bathing a 5 kilometer circle in energy at the ground. Last but not least, a good paper on what veteran observers already know. The last solar polar field reversal was wonky, off-phase, and asymmetric. It also led to the only polar recovery magnitude 8 events in more than 40 years, but that's another story you can read about at QuakeWatch.net. We greatly appreciate your support over at SuspiciousObservers.org. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.